Good morning. Today's gonna be kind of a baby update day for you guys. I am 18 weeks along and I am headed out early to a doctor's appointment that I'm traveling quite a ways for. I'm finding out that there's not too many doctors in our area that are pro VBAC. So I'm making a trip to a doctor that is very pro VBAC. And on top of meeting with the doctor, I'm also using a midwife and gonna be using a doula. And just, I've been talking to people who have had VBACs or who have wanted VBACs and um, have just really given me a lot of advice on getting more people on board for this to help me navigate through this new thing that I've never done before. I've had four successful births before. I had my C-section and my C-section was only with my twins and um, the type of cesarean that I had and the way that they sewed me back up is like great for having a V-back. So I'm a prime candidate for it and just trying to stack the cards in my favor of not having to have a C-section again because that was tough. <laughs> long time that it took for me to be away from home. Um, I have some good exciting news that all of you have been waiting for and asking for a really, really long time. I have the date of when we'll have our anatomy ultrasound and hopefully find out if we're having a boy or a girl. <gasps> so if you didn't comment in our last one saying what kind of gender reveal ideas you have, comment below and give us those ideas. Tim's parents will be in town the day that we find out. So maybe do something special for the grandparents finding out. Then maybe if you have some fun ideas for us to do uh, when we tell other YouTubers too. We probably won't have time for a live gender reveal because of the timing of it. So fun reveal for the grandparents and for other YouTubers. Make sure you subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss all the exciting news coming up. Dana's cooking dinner, or was cooking dinner. I was cooking dinner, but it's five o'clock, and, and dinner's not gonna be ready for at least another hour at this point. So I got the kids out in the car, and I'm gonna take them, just to give Dana some downtime a little bit by herself, I'm taking them to Chick-fil-A. They pick up some dinner, and they're gonna bring it back here and eat, because that's still less crazy than trying to eat in the restaurant with everyone. So we'll be right back. Love you. Let's go. Who's in my car? Yeah. We got Zeke, we got Hannah and Hallie and the twins. Everybody except for Toby. All right, let's go to Chick-fil-A and get some food. We're here. Dana ordered online, so now I have the tap or to the app and let them know that we're here. There it goes. Order has been sent, so now we just got to wait here in this special parking spot and wait for them to come uh, deliver to us. I don't know how to get out of the car. While we wait, I've been introducing the kids to some old 1980s, 90s Christian rock music, which sounds really funny to listen to now I've been listening to it for so long. Are you guys liking this music though? Yeah. Do you like it, Zeke? If mommy was here, she would not tolerate this. She would say, turn that off. Kind of the same way I act when she listens to country music. <laughs> Hello. You Thank you. The nice thing about driving is I get to have the food up front with me. You guys think I should eat some of these fries while I drive? Yeah, don't put on my fries. Can I have one? I think they're our whole family fries. No. All right, let's go home and eat. <laughs> Everyone's hungry now. Let's go home. Toby is still sleeping. He's been napping the whole time we've been gone. Gotta wake him up so he can come eat Chick Fil A with us. Mom told me to wake him up softly. Oh, did you wake him up softly? Yeah. How did you do it? I just whispered in his ear, Toby, do you want Chick Fil A? Chick Fil A? What? Yes. Let's go. He's like this. So he's like. <laughs> so squinting. He's so tired, Toby. Did you take a nap? You want a hug? Here you go. Uh, yeah, let's go downstairs and go eat Chick fil A. Are you girls excited for Chick fil A? Do you want Chick fil A, Karis? Yeah? Chloe, do you want Chick fil A? 
No, you don't fuss. You say please. please. But please, you say please. There you go, good girl. Sign language for please. There you go. And you have ketchup? Yeah. <laughs> Since I've been trying to lose weight, which I'm doing successfully actually, I've lost a few pounds, not that you can tell, but trying to lose weight for Dana so I don't snore, so she can sleep. Instead of getting the, the normal sandwich, I got a grilled sandwich, which is uh, much healthier, and all those french fries and everything though, not as much. Guess what I introduced the kids to in the car? Petra. Uh, no, like Jeff more in the distance, which is a little bit better. It's not, I actually yeah. listened to them. Um, but they, they liked it. They said they, they're like, oh, this is good music. We like it. And I said, you know what? I don't think mommy would. But I listened to Jeff, Jeff more. More in the distance. Yeah. But you just don't like Petra and Guardian and. Uh, we did walk down the aisle to Guardian. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want everyone to know that. In our wedding, yes. <laughs> I don't think I've told you guys much about me trying to find a new doctor and everything the doctor that i saw today is the new doctor um i went to my first ob appointment and the doctor was not pro VBAC at all like anti VBAC. Do you and guys, do they know what VBAC is for people? VBAC is a vaginal birth after cesarean. Felt like a nightmare of an appointment going into my regular OB. She didn't know my history, like didn't know anything about me. Just was not, just knew that I had a C-section and I wanted a VBAC and told me if I want to go that route, then I need to switch physicians. Didn't care that I had four successful vaginal births before my C-section and my C-section was because they were twins and I was furious and just biting my tongue in my visit with her and just could not believe the visit that I had. So that was not the one you met today. That was a third, no, that was your, four weeks ago. Yeah, your other doctor. So that started my hunt for a good pro VBAC doctor. And really there's only been two highly recommended ones in the whole Cincinnati area. And so that's why I had a long drive today. She was really sweet today. The nurses, the office staff, everybody was so great. The reason why I really want a VBAC is because I've done this before and, and I'm not pregnant with twins this time. And I don't like my, I didn't like my experience of having a C-section. I hated the recovery. I had a really hard time going into the operation room, like such bright lights and so sterile. Like I, it just wasn't the way that I have experienced babies coming into the world before. When I was talking to my midwife about that, she was like, you experience trauma. Like you're going through like kind of like a post-traumatic stress disorder. That kind of shines some light of like, how emotional I am with the whole deal. I want things to go differently, and I want a doctor that's supportive of the way I want it to go. So you're gonna stick with this doctor then? I think so. There's a little insight into what's been going on. We're excited to see what happens and looking forward to meeting our new baby and the gender reveal. So I gotta start thinking about ideas for that myself too. And uh, looking forward to hearing your ideas and your thoughts down there and all this stuff as well. So thank you guys for being a part of the story with us. Really do appreciate it. Subscribe and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.